All right, so the next part, um, we're going to create two views, um, one that has the masses on and one that has the masses off so we can work more efficiently. So I'm going to come up here and close my hidden windows. And I'll hit escape real quick to stop the command I was in. And I'm going to duplicate my 3D view here. So if I right click on this and go to duplicate view, duplicate, and then I'm going to right click on that and rename it 3D mass. Click OK. And I'm just going to come into this one and I'm going to go to my visibility graphics and I'm going to turn pretty much everything off except for the masses, right? And all the things that are associated with masses should be on as well. And I'm going to click OK. So now you see the masses there. I'm going to close my hidden windows, come down to my default 3D view, which has just the walls on, and I'm going to window tile, and I'm going to ZA. So I can see both of these right next to each other. Now this one, if I go to VB, has everything on but the masses, right? Well, the parts are off. And then if I go to this one and type VB, has everything off but the masses. Okay, so now if I come in here, I'm going to go ahead and create um, some additional walls by face. Now in this guy, we have a little bit of an issue because we have two faces overlapping, the interior face of this center part and the face of this blue piece that overlaps. So if I pick those faces, I'll have double walls. So for example, if I come over here and I go up to my architecture wall, wall by face, I have the 4 inch glazing picked, and if I come over here and pick the face of the interior face of that blue wall right there, and I want this to be finished face interior, so the wall grows out, I now have two walls right on top of each other, right? So I have this one snaking through that one, and I will have the same thing happening if I come over here and go to this wall and place another wall there. So now I have two. You can see it's warning me that I can't see things in here, but I can see them being created over here. I gotta close that box. Now what I want to do is I want to subtract the part of these walls from the blue thing that I don't want. And this is a bit tricky, um, but we'll go ahead and do it. Let me come around to the side that has more light. So basically I want to come in and I want to subtract everything from here back on these two walls that I just created. So I'm going to hit escape a couple of times. So this wall that I just created, I want to cut everything out behind this line. So to do that, I'm going to go to component, model in place, and I need to pick the same category as the thing I'm working on. So I'm working on walls, so I'm going to come down and pick walls, and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to name this void 1. And I'm going to click OK. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an extruded void that I can use to subtract those walls out. Okay. So I'm going to go to extrusion. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be real exact at first because I can adjust it later. I'm just going to pick right here on the corner of that and I'm going to draw a rectangle that is bigger than what I need. And then I'm going to pick this edge and move it out. And what I'm doing is I'm creating the outline for the extrusion. So if I spin around, you can see I've got an outline for the extrusion that covers that whole blue box from the point back that I want to get rid of those walls. So once I hit check here, it will put a little extrusion in there and I can grab that little shape handle and pull it up. So now I have something that I can create a void from that will cut those additional walls out of there. What I need to do now is I need to create a void and then I need to cut from the wall that void, right? And then, this is a little trickier, I'm going to go cut from this wall and if you move around you can get to that void again clip that and so now you'll see that it's clipped that void out and if I go to finish model 
right? I now have removed the duplicates and just have those walls right there where I want them. Okay, so that was a little tricky, but make sure you do the double view, and then that I just wanted to show you. You don't necessarily have to do this if your particular file doesn't require it.